Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to That's Not My Neighbor. Come on, I thought you saw him walk past me already. That's not him. I had a few comments on my last video. You guys were pissed at me at how I played. I just want to say that if it was your first time playing the game, had never seen anybody else play it, wasn't quite understanding how the rules of the game worked, and you were trying to like, you, you were trying to make a good first impression for an audience, you would, you would feel the same way. <laughs> you would be confused too. Listen, I had never seen anybody play this before. I was going in blind, as most of us YouTubers do, for that authentic reaction. So, I mean, can you really blame me? Anyways, so I got one comment from Mechadial that says, if everything matches with the info they give you, their appearance and the files you have, then yes. If you aren't sure, you can also call the apartment number by opening the files to see if anyone answers or questions them from the checklist. That was to my question as to whether you let somebody in if they're not on today's list, but there's nothing wrong with their appearance or their files. So the answer was yes, I am supposed to let them in or I can let them in as long as I call the apartment, make sure, question, do all the, all the procedures first, and then I can make the decision. I also got another comment from Sonica Van Breda. I probably didn't say that right. That says the answer to Chester's quiz was 42. There's an imposter that only says 42 that is supposed to clue you into the answer, but after there are more questions, you can Google the answers by Googling that's not my neighbor Chester quiz answers. So I think Chester is supposed to be that, uh, the what's the meaning of life guy? I didn't see a name for that guy. I, but when he shows up, I'll answer 42 and see what happens. With the knowledge that I have now from the previous video, I should be able to survive no problems. So without further ado, hop right in this shit! I wanted to see if I could try to survive without, uh, before the game got any major updates or a full release. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. Hello. All right, let's look at today's list. Marguerite Bubbles, you are on my list. So let me see. You got your ID card? Uh, ID card, check. Let's, she is on today's list. Let's take a look at that, uh, FO203. Let's take a look at that appearance. Curly hair. I wish I could move this around so that I can look at her while I look at the, uh, the description. Curly hair, deviated left eye. Curly hair, deviated left eye. That's her left. Brown nose and a big smile. Brown nose, big smile. Okay. And I just gotta double check and make sure that she doesn't have anything that she's not supposed to on her as well. Because that was another thing is that yes, it gives you a description of the character, but it also doesn't tell you um, what she shouldn't have. It's like there was one time where one of the characters had a mole on their face. And I didn't see that, but it also didn't say anything about a mole. ID card, today's list. You don't have your entry request. All right, yes, I've... Okay. I'm a resident in the building. She's a, she does have a job as a seamstress, FO203. I'm going to call her apartment real quick. Six, four, Nobody answered. So that means that her, she lived by herself. She does. Okay, so she is not in her apartment. The description matches. I know there was also another comment that said that you were, that somebody was mad at the fact that I kept saying that the appearance matched when it clearly didn't. So I'm double, triple, quadruple checking for you guys before you all blow my head off. All right. All right. Uh, now that I know how pissed you guys were at me the last time, I'm anxious now. <laughs> Sir, you're not on today's list, but that doesn't mean that I won't let you through. McCooley Rud Boys. McCooley Rud Boys. Rud Boys. Rud Boys. Yeah, McCooley Rud Boys has a mustache. He indeed does have a mustache. Big nose, big nose. Uh, has a goatee, that indeed you do. Smokes, 
that indeed you are smoking, always wears a hat. He is wearing a hat. Got it. Uh, any other features that I need to look out for that you should not have? I also don't like that his picture doesn't have a hat on it, but it says that he always wears a hat. Was it just the day that they decided to take a picture of him, he wasn't wearing a hat? ID. Not on today's list. Uh, does not have his entry request and the appearance does match. I forgot to show my entry request. I come from doing the shopping. I'm a resident of the building. I come from doing the shopping? Who says it like that? I don't, I don't like that. FO303. Let me call the apartment chief. Let me, uh, let me, uh, 4242. Cause the way that you worded that, I'm not too sure. You come from doing the shopping? What do you mean the? What do you mean by that? Hello, McCooley Rudd boys. My son is not at home. Is he back? No, but apparently you are. Uh, sorry, can't let you in. Three. Three, one, two. See? I told you, I'm surviving! The video ends when I survive! And if that's on my first try, oh well! This is gonna be the shortest video I've ever recorded. That's a lie. My Tem Tem video was pretty short. That was 10 minutes long. Go check that out. Not now though. All right, buddy, let's see. You are not on today's list. However, comma, that doesn't mean that I won't let you through if you meet the right requirements. If you do something strange for a piece of change, I might just have to let you through. What? You weird, buddy. You're weird. All right, Arnold Schmidt is a writer. Big eyebrows. You don't even have those. Prominent mustache. Yeah, I can't. Nah. Nah, chief. Can't let you through. See, the game knows. The game knows that I'm paying attention now. It's over. Celine, I think your name is. You're not on my list. Illinois. Ele Illinois? Illinois. Illinois Schwitz, 1980. Uh, Illinois Schwitz. There's a mole on her left cheek. You don't even have the mole. Are you? Are you guys kidding me? Make it hard. Make me hard. Make it a challenge. Give me something to fight for. <laughs> I already let you. Th no, I didn't let you through because wait, 1975. Yeah, this has been expired. No, wait, no, never mind. I'm stupid. Hold on, hold on. No, because if it's before 55, that, okay. I, either way, she answered the phone, so I can't let you through because you're already in your home. Right? She is still in her home. Or did she leave? No, I let her through already because she wasn't home. Resident of the building, I went out for my job as a seamstress. I let her in already. Did I fuck up? Oh my god. Well, I asked for it. I asked for a challenge. Now I'm pretty sure I got one. <laughs> pretty sure I fucked up already. Oh, Marguerite speaking. I'm not expecting any visitors today. Perfectly fine. Get out of here! I don't accept doubles. Also, by the way, I'm wearing my imposter shirt. <laughs> I know it's cringe to wear a shirt that says imposter, especially because Among Us is dead now, but it makes sense, right? The doppelgangers are the imposters. No, stop, come on. You guys are sleeping on my, my big brain skills. You're sleeping on me. No, no, nope. Robertsky Peachman, you are on the list today. F102, 1973. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is two on the second, on the first floor. 
Mm -hmm. Robertsky Peachman, long nose. He has that. Without eyebrows. You do not have eyebrows. Big nose. Oh, long neck. Sorry. Big nose, long neck. He's got both of those. Has a goatee. All right. Two, six, six, eight. Oh, Albertski speaking. My brother is not at home. Okay. And you are Robertski. So I believe that I can indeed let you through. He's got his ID. His appearance matches. Entry request. He is on today's list. Go on ahead, buddy. My heart is pounding. Long nose, thin chin, tired eyes, short hair. Where's a hat? Long nose, thin chin, short hair, tired eyes. Where's a hat? It all checks out. He has nothing additional on him that should not be on him. He comes as a milkman. Then I'm going to call his office. I mean, his office, his apartment, just to be sure. Perfect. You're good. I don't know why this is stressing me out so much. All right, now we're talking. Now, now we're talking. We got the mole. You are still not on my list. However, comma, Celine Schwitz, 1980. He has a job as a model. F0104. Mole on the right cheek. Hmm. Mm. See, because if if we flip it, right? If we if we flip it, she has the mole on the left cheek. Because if we if we flip it, it looks like my right, but it's her left, right? Sorry, you won't be getting me today. I got them eagle eyes. I got that eagle vision. I'm prepared. <laughs> You're not my Celine. Uh, you are also not on my list. Mia Stone. All right, Mia Stone. Something about you just doesn't look right. I, I don't think that you're my Mia. Long hair. Got long hair. Small round nose. Got that. She has freckles. You do have freckles. Oval face. That is an oval face. Thin eyebrows. Thin eyebrows, oval face, she has freckles, small round nose, long hair. Oval face, has freckles, small nose, thin eyebrows. Now how thin are we talking? How thin of a nose are we talking? Or I mean, how thin of eyebrows are we talking? She comes as a teacher, she is a teacher. 1425 is the apartment number, so I'm just gonna call that just to be safe. Court. Teen, 20, five. Hello, Dr. William Afton speaking. My fiance is not at home. Is she back? She is, but don't go killing kids now. Okay, all right. You are not on today's list. Am I not on today's list? I think there's an error, I should, okay, whatever. There's really no point in saying that they're not on the list because, again, if you are supposed to let them through, then... Okay, I think this is our guy. What is the meaning of life? The universe and everything. So, somebody said that the answer should be 42. That's correct! Oh! What is the scientific name of the Australian animal that drastically changes its appearance when removed from its natural habitat? What? Do I just look up the answers? <laughs> Do I just look up the answers? I want to... Okay, what is the scientific name of the Australian animal? I'm not going to guess the scientific name for it. Would you guys be mad if I looked up the answers? Don't be mad. I looked up the answers. I I'm just really curious. So the scientific name, I would never have guessed this, first of all. P-S-Y-C-H... R O L U T E S M A R C I. What the fuck? 
I would never have guessed that. What is the name of the only sport that allows you to punch your opponent in the face because they capture a piece? Chess boxing? What country is that from? At least how many times do you have to fold a 0.1 millimeter, 0.01 millimeter thick sheet of paper to cover the distance between the sh shire and mortar? 38 is apparently the answer. The key is hide. So the answer is Uranus, but how, how are people figuring this out? How the hell are people figuring this out? According to the, S uh, the FSM, global warming is a consequence of the fact that since the 19th century, the number of pirates is the answer. How are people figuring this out? You managed to answer all my questions correctly. Congratulations, you have earned my badge. How? Oh! How the fuck are you guys figuring these answers out? Like who went, this game is still pretty fresh, right? Like this game came out maybe two weeks ago. How are people figuring out the answers to questions as obscure as this? Sure, there may have been some of them that you actually knew the answers to. Like the chess boxing one. If you know chess boxing, that's a good answer. But the key is hide and then e Uranus? I'm gonna stick something up Uranus. <laughs> Goodbye. Please don't ever come back. 42. So that was the the um the doppel that says 42. And that, that's your answer. Okay. Well you came a little late, buddy. Way too late for that. <laughs> yes! 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 Woo! S rank? Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Nobody, not a single one of you. Come here, come here. Not a single one of you can say that I did not do that. Not a single one of you can get pissed at me now because I did that shit. I paid attention. I have my eyes. Oh! The level of focus. Look at me in my eyes. Look at me in my... The level of focus that it took My first S rank. Oh, it feels so good. Ah, that one felt good. Capture 100 doppelgangers. That's going to take me a couple of playthroughs off screen in order for me to get that one. Um, but if I ever do get it, it'll most likely be when the full release comes out or something. Survive without opening any folders. That one's going to be really difficult. I would have to play this a couple of times. Survive 40 playthroughs. I'm not playing this one. 40 times get an f rank that one that one might actually be easy because i just let everybody in i think i'm just gonna let everybody in to get that one complete 100 playthroughs catch a doppelganger red-handed i don't know how i'm supposed to get that one what do you mean catch him red-handed okay well the only one that i'm gonna be getting in this this video is the f rank so let's go back in and just let everybody through let's just have a field day we're just gonna keep the doors open let people come through it doesn't matter. Hi. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, my, my, you're looking gorgeous today. Ah, this is the easiest job I've ever had. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to talk to anybody. I'm just over here sipping my drink. It's water, by the way. Caught you. Ah, oh, man. Is that how you're supposed to catch him red-handed? How are you supposed to do that? Caught you! Oh, never mind. Caught you! 
whatever. That was our peaches guy. Peaches, 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 peaches. Ah! Love you, girl. Let me stop before Jack Black comes for me. You know I hit that note. Oh no, I died. Oh no. Now give me my F rank. Give me my Frank. No neighbors were killed? Oh. What? How, Sway? I think that if if all the doppelgangers that you let in kill all the neighbors, then that's how you get the F? Oh. That's stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo. You're good. Go on ahead. Everything looked perfectly fine there. So I'm wondering if I just if I just let everybody in and complete the checklist. Because the idea is that I am supposed to be paying attention. But I'm doing my job completely wrong. Maybe that'll give me the F rank. Because then if I'm letting doppelgangers and residents in, the doppelgangers are going to kill the residents. And that's how I'll get my F rank. I'm just experimenting with stuff at this point. Because I've survived now. I've done that. I'm him. You can't say shit to me anymore. Whoa. I, I like your cut, G. <laughs> it's also kind of nice to see, like, the different doppels as well. Because these are some that I haven't seen before in my last video or in this one. In the beginning of this video. All right. Let's see if that gives me my F rank. Do I get my Frank now? Doppel's captured. Dude! That's really tough. What the hell? F Frank? Frank? Francis. Captured one doppel. Six neighbors killed. Four let in. Ah! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah. The fact that I am so close to an F rank makes me want to keep playing, but I... I, I've accomplished my goals. I've done what I came here to do. I got my S rank and I survived. I completed all of Chester's questions. Even though I looked up the answers, one comment helped me with one answer. So I thank you for that. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I came here to do what I do. I achieved my goals. I reached for the stars and I landed on the moon. If you want to see my last video, which was a game called Tales from the Night Cafe. That'll be linked somewhere around here. If you want to see my last video of That's Not My Neighbor, I'll probably play this again when the game gets a major update or when it has a full release. But until then, I've done what I came here to do. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Imposter. Doppel's imposter.